Tonight, the hunt continues for a group of thieves who police say stole thousands of dollars worth of furs, and it's all caught on tape. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson joins us live in the newsroom with the story. And Curtis, one thing's for sure, I know people will be talking about what we're about to see. Oh, yeah. I don't think anyone in the market for a stolen fur coat will want to buy the one stolen from a store in Westlake, at least not after they have seen where it's been. Thieves working as a three-person team have it down to a science. The first two walk into Sword Furs in Westlake and start browsing. They interact with salespeople, distracting them, while a third shoplifter cases the store. She takes off her coat to try on the merchandise. Finding one her size, she moves it from one rack to another and checks to make sure the coast is clear. What happens next is both astounding and disgusting. She slips her overcoat back on, lifts up her dress, and then stuffs the fur in her underwear. It's the second time thieves have hit a store in Westlake. Furs by Weiss on Center Ridge was hit two weeks ago. We actually had two shoplifters come in. One, they came in in the morning and took a piece, and then in the afternoon they took another piece. Weiss says shoplifting is a problem because the price of fur is at an all-time high. With the holidays and winter around the corner, thieves are looking for what sells. And they're willing to do anything to get it. But these are professionals, and unfortunately, that's what they do for their life. And they find a way to, to, to get it out and to uh, steal it. Westlake police say if you have any information on the thieves, give them a call. In the news, Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5. Unbelievable. All right, thank you.